What's up guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Website Wednesdays. This is episode 45. My name is Mira. I am the social media manager at Outside the Box. I am joined by Gauche. It was away last week. Welcome back. I'm back. I had to take care of some shit, but, but I got <laughs> dark as shit. But all right, go on. You got dark as Yeah, man. Yeah. Got really dark. God damn, the sun is bright everywhere except Canada. Okay, so today, did you miss whiskey? Wherever you were? I actually don't I always, know where I always, you were. I always miss whiskey, to be honest. Um, today we're drinking Highland Park. This is a 10 year. Um, I bought it because the packaging was nice. Yes. And, you know, whatever. Uh, have you tried this before? I've had different Highland Parks, which is why I even thought we've done a Highland Park before. Um, I have to go back and check. Um, I like generally their additions. Um, okay. It's, I think it's I've only episodes. done two. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, like, well, we'll find out how this one is. Well, this one's a, I think this one mm. only got added like 2013 or I something. I think I've like had that, the right? basic Highland Park, not the 10 year. This was in the special whiskey section. Mm, interesting. Well, apparently it was matured in predominantly in American Coke, uh, American Coke, American <laughs> oak casks, giving it a lovely golden <laughs> color not white not, uh, white, uh, not powdery uh, in the glass that are apparently a delicate sea breeze uh, coffee and chocolate aromas but uh, it's also reflected in the palette as well mm -hmm. also finishes caramelish uh, okay i mean again like um i've heard well, i mean like i like highland park whiskeys i don't i just don't think i've had this one. Oh, what region is this from it's from kirkwall orkney islands in scotland oh nice Smells good. I saw Pete. No, smells like, like I'm gonna yeah. like this. Really? It smells like a party. <laughs> okay. Back. Yes. Uh, gently smoky, but surprisingly sweet. Oh, that's what they say. All right, let's try it out. Uh, yes, the golden apple juice color. Uh, reminds me of no, Alan. Smells good. Uh, apple juice. Um, cheers. cheers. Ooh, it's a little bit smoky at the end. A little bit of that. I don't taste the can. It is a little peaty. Yeah, but the overall taste, I don't mind. Yeah, I'm not as impressed with this one as some of the other Highland Parks I've had. Really? To be honest, maybe. I'm oh, there it says aromatic peat. <laughs> oh, there it goes. What a weird laugh. This is sherry oak. Oh, sherry oak, cast from Spain. Okay. Someone's giving me the wrong information. All right, so today we are going to talk about um, the recent release of the iPhones. Now, this I was I'm actually really excited for because I am an Apple person. Yes. Gauche, however, is not. So. So uh, forgive me if I sound biased. Uh, some some of it is biased. Like some of it is like what you which environment you like prescribe to is essentially like which one yeah. you like more. Like some people like the Apple ecos ecosystem better. Some people absolutely despise it. Now, we'll try to be somewhat unbiased, but our biases will absolutely show, guaranteed. They're very different. Yeah, they're um, different. Did, you didn't watch the keynote yesterday? I didn't watch the keynote. Yeah. Um, I was just getting back, uh, and then I just ended up going, looking up the specs. I looked up a few of the like little clips, and then I was just looking up um, what they had released, like what they had essentially said. Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't know. You go, you go on with your thoughts. Well, overall, I'm really excited because I'm just an iPhone person in general. For I'm the an 8 Apple or the product. X? Um, I'm going to go for the 8. I don't know if... So we did the conversion and like the iPhone X is actually called iPhone 10. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. It's the 10, yeah. but I just, I just call it the X. Oh, okay. like, I, don't, I know. I know it's I, a 10. I was trying to look, at, look at me trying to be all yeah. pretentious and shit like yeah. I know everything. It's the 10. Uh, it's guys. actually the 10. We just like to skip numbers. <laughs> um, so... I would get the iPhone 8. Uh -huh. The only thing that I think I'm the most concerned about is there's glass on both sides. And my clumsy ass will drop it because we already know that like the front end. But what did you think of the look of the X? Because uh, I'm going to call the it the X. X. Well, the 10. The, the X? 10. The 10. Um, it, looks like, it looks like a Samsung. Yeah, Does it not look like a yeah, Samsung? Yeah, I didn't, I don't like it. You know what's weird? I, I feel like, which again, might be my bias, but Usually the one thing I did give uh, Apple credit for was their design was always impeccable. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the last few iterations versus the last of the Samsungs, I feel like this, the, or like the, any of the Androids, the Androids have caught up design-wise. They look good. I guess so. There's a lot of um, 
specs and capabilities that they're taking from other phones, I think. Yeah, except like... they're branding it as, hey, for the first time ever, facial recognition for only Apple. <laughs> for the first time ever to an iPhone. That yeah. is the specific thing you need to say. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. 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 Um, I think there's key points we can take away from Apple's marketing, which is they are always evolving their products, which is a good thing. So you can always anticipate there's a new release every year. That's Fair something enough. that if Fair you're enough. if you're releasing yeah. a product, you can you can also we have a set schedule. Exactly, yeah. make your customers aware that hey, once a year we're going to be doing a whole new thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly like every every September we're going to be doing this, but just keep the, keep that in mind. Consistency is good. Yeah. Um, Though I don't, yeah. I just don't like how they keep like pulling these features. Like there's no like home button now. And there's no like, well on the 10, right? And then I there's mean, no, yeah. like the gestures that are different. Like they're like, they're expecting But the an emojis, you can turn your face into a piece of poop. <laughs> no, you're not excited about that? All right. uh, and even like the AR, um, <laughs> they're not really innovating. Mind you, like that, it's cool. Like the, yeah. that presentation, I, I saw that. I saw that clip and that is really, really cool. But it was funny, like I was reading like Pokemon Go's like creator mm -hmm. and he, even though his AR is actually very, very basic, he was saying that like, we can't say the future is here and then present that as the AR. Yeah. There's so much more you can do with all that. Like augmented reality, they're thinking, they're talking about things like having maps on your phone while in the subway where you know which way to go or the, yeah. the mall where you can look at an object and place it on yourself. I guess you also like just have to hype up the launch. Of yeah, the it's so just, I think the, the term future is coming. It's not now. Yeah. You know, just... I mean, like, there are certain keywords that I picked out of there. It was like, this yeah. is magical. I'm like, is it? Is yeah, it they do. They do do some uh, very good calls to actions and good keywords. It's not like, just retina display. It's super retina display. It's like, yeah. It's just like, oh, really? <laughs> All right. It's better than Mario. It's Super Mario. Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> leveling up all of our stuff. Anyways, um, any other takeaways that we can... Oh, okay, I'll quickly go on okay. rant. Okay, go right. on your so, rant. So, I don't get it, like, first and foremost. Um, like, the specs, okay, mind you, I can't comment on the processors because it's, it's new, so we'd have to see it in market to see if we can compare with the S8. Yeah. But we're comparing with the S8, which is already out. We're not even talking about the potential S9 or Apparently, they're also coming out with the 10. Why do S9 10. when you can do S10? I think they're doing <laughs> both. They're doing Your some crazy... I think Samsung's doing some stupid shit too. Yeah. But, but um, it's, our, it's either like on par with phones that are already released or somewhat lagging in some areas. Again, like I'm sure their software is going to be amazing. Um, they always do a good job of making it uh, social media savvy, which is kind of what pushes them ahead of everybody else, right? Where Because everyone wants to just go on Instagram, let's be honest, and Snapchat and all the other social <laughs> media things, and then maybe make a call. Like, you know, who really talks on the phone Never now, right? Um, so, like, in that sense, I guess, but if you're look, I personally think if you're looking for productivity, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it, it depends on like your preference. Again, uh, ecosystems. Do you subscribe to the ecosystem that you know thinks USB-C or all that crap is the best and it removes headphones jacks and they're wireless uh, headphones and I'm going to lose the buds. I'm sure of it. Yeah, they they know that. That's the what, wireless, I what I would be most excited about is the wireless charging because my cords always rip like all the time and it, without fail. I can take care of them as much as I want, just magically within the night. It'll just be a blue, blue, blue. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Again, I mean, one. hey, again, they do a good job with marketing. They've done a good job of having all their, um, they loyal, uh, loyal fan base, basically. Hello. Um, how, however, like this is actually, in my opinion, this is actually the most riskiest uh, uh, release. release because in the sense that they are coming out with the eight, but then the 10, apparently won't be shipping out until the second and they already think there's gonna be shortages. So if they have shortages, November they might. November is the release date. Yeah, yeah. But they, they're already talking about shortages and it's like, so if that happens, they'd have mm. run the risk of like losing to competing phones, which in that time period who are buying for holiday season. Mm -hmm. So this is the, in terms of that, it's the riskiest release, like backing these two up, like eight and the 10 at the same time. Mm. But if they pull it off though, which for the most part they have so far, I mean, they'll keep doing what they're doing. Their ecosystem's strong. Mm -hmm. um, but I uh, personally, as a Android user and a Apple hater, uh, I don't know why I took so much offense to that. Everyone has their own opinions. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, uh, it's true. No, it, it's, yeah. 
Verdict on the whiskey. Um, I'm not that big a fan. Maybe I'll try it with ice after the episode and I'll comment it under the uh, in the comment section. But uh, so far, neat. I'm not too much of a fan. It's not the worst one I've had, but yeah. just don't like the. Uh, I think smoky uh, um, flavors are growing on me actually, so I actually do not mind this. Mm -hmm. I actually. I think I, really I like the start it. as well. It's very. Yeah. Su it's actually a sweet start. And the smell isn't weird. overpowering either. So uh, it was about fifty-six bucks or 60 50, bucks yeah. at so, LCBO, so a decent price. Um, with that being said, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about the release of the iPhones, your Samsung user, you're welcome to comment as well, or Android, any Android user. Oh, oh if you're a Samsung <laughs> user, you're welcome. No, Android, all of you, comment. I'm letting you comment. Um, if you have any questions about your social media, SEO, PPC, branding, websites, any of those, be sure to email us at thinkitoutsidethebox.com. With that being said, stop laughing at me and have a productive day. We're out.